The snow and cold weather are taking a toll on many animals. Joining us live is Lori Bankson from the Bay Beach Wildlife Sanctuary to tell us what they're seeing. Lori, good morning to you. Good morning, Emily. Why don't you tell us what's going on this winter? You know, this has been a really unusual winter for us. We see animals coming in and out, but usually this is a time that we can clean up our cages, bank up on supplies, but we are full. I mean, it's unbelievable, and I'm hearing this all across the state, that wildlife is really having a tough time with this winter. And talk to us about bats. What's, what's the issue with that? You know, bats hibernate in our homes quite often, and they also have their bat boxes. They're crevice dwellers, so they can fit into a space a quarter of an inch wide. But what happens when people are doing construction or maybe cleaning a room or the heaters turn on a little bit longer than normal, you know, these guys start waking up. The daylight's getting longer if the temperature rises. And these guys are, are insect eaters. So if they don't have insects around and they get disturbed, they wake up, there's nothing that they can do if they try to go outside, they will die. So we've actually had an increase of bats here at the Bay Beach Wildlife Sanctuary um, that we're holding over winter so we can release when the insects return to town. And what if people are experiencing this, Lori, you know, a bat in their home or if they encounter one, what do you suggest to people? You know, it's really important to take every safety precaution. They're little, but they are dangerous animals. You know, they can bite. They are called a rabies vector species. They can carry rabies, but they are important to our ecosystem. It's really, it's really important, especially with white nose syndrome, that they give us a call and we can try to arrange to get them here safely so we can release them back in the wild. And Lori, was there also an owl that you have there you wanted to talk about? <laughs> Yeah, this is the barred owl. When you came out with us about a month ago that was hit uh, by a bus, broke her beak. We just wanted to let everybody know that she's improving. Her beak is growing. She's eating on her own now. So we're hoping when the snow melts, she can get back outside. I think that's great, Lori, that we have some good news to update people on. So thank you so <laughs> much. And we'll check back in with Thanks. you a little later, okay? Sounds great. Thanks.